we have to test this alternating series and options are divergent, convergent, conditionally convergent and absolutely convergent. For absolute conver uh, convergent, we first make this alternating series as a positive term series. Then this one can be written in terms of positive term series 2n plus 1, 3n plus 5. If absolute uh, absolutely convergent, then limit of this one must be 0. But we are getting limit 2 upon 3. Limit of 2n plus 1 upon 3n plus 5 equals to 2 upon 3. How we are getting this limit? You can take uh, n common from numerator and denominator or uh, apply limit as n tending to infinity or in numerator coefficient of n is 2 and coefficient of n is 3 or you can understand coefficient of coefficient of higher exponent coefficient of higher exponent sorry coefficient of uh, coefficient of higher degree variable so you can consider n is variable its coefficient is 2 and its uh, in denominator coefficient is 3 so 2 upon 3 because 2 upon 3 not equals to 0 that's why this series is not absolutely convergent if not absolutely convergent then it is not convergent furthermore because absolute convergent implies convergent then its negation not convergent means not absolute so option b is again wrong option b becomes wrong now come to the come to the point divergent or conditionally convergent if not convergent then it doesn't mean it's a divergent it may be conditionally convergent and for this we will ap apply Leibniz test for alternating series according to this uh, uh, what is Leibniz test says un or mod of un must be decreasing or decreasing sequence and limit of mod un equals to a zero if these two conditions satisfies then we say original series or alternating series convergent otherwise not convergent so 2n plus 1 upon 3n plus 5 it's a decreasing but limit is not going to zero that's why it's not convergent by Leibniz test and because not uh, not convergent by Leibniz test also not absolute that's why not conditionally convergent it's a divergent 